Welcome to our year-end review, and what a year it's been. We thought we'd get together and show you a little rundown or a highlight reel of how this year has gone and all the changes and growth that we've seen. We're excited to drop this episode with you today. Yeah, so welcome. Did you know, Benji, that we had over 150,000 views this year on the channel? That's a lot of views. I also saw that we had over 1,500 hours of viewed content. Like, that's a lot of hours. People are spending days on our channel, which is flattering. Yeah, and how many episodes did we have? I think we're right around 75 episodes for the year. 75 episodes. Like, Ted Lasso's got nothing on us. Yeah, and we made over 300 new friends this year. We got 300 new subscribers. So welcome. Yeah, welcome to the channel. Thanks for showing up. So we wanted to share some of the highlights and recaps for this season. We had five new nerds disclose some of their nerdiest secrets this year with door disclosures. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Andy Anderson. Hi, I'm Gary Higgins. I dressed up as The Flash and paraded throughout the national sales meeting. Hi, my name is Dennis Krasinski, and I've been in the industry uh, my entire life. Hi, I'm Jeff Moss, and I'm a door hardware nerd. Hi, I'm Ryan Ritchie, and I am the institutional locksmith for the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. We had 12 new Code Corners with Katie, diving deeper into those code books. I'm adding access control to several openings. When do I need to make the lock fail safe? That's a great question. Does ADA require power operators? That's a great question. And of course, we had a lot of fun with all our new guests on 12 new episodes of Unhinged. The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. If a firefighter or a first responder tried to break through this, then honestly, they probably need to be let go. They better have been the Kool-Aid man, actually. <laughs> this is the where the Kool-Aid man comes from. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Valentine's Day is coming up. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, they share a little love with all the door hardware nerds. Wow. I've never seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> but my initial thought is, hey, I made it through all three pictures without seeing something I did. So we got that going. I mean, is there really even a door? Everybody do a shot. No. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> this is coffee. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you have absolutely no follow-up questions. Cheers. I feel like the Kool-Aid Man reference comes up so many times. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and that was all I could think about. Although this would be a really, we, you don't really need to be the Kool-Aid Man for this situation. But oh, yeah, anyone a, could fall it's a mess. down those stairs. <laughs> is it down or up? Is this out of Home Alone? No, you would think. Kevin McAllister some... do this? Speaking of death traps. Yep. So this is a computer store. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you've seen this before. If not, I have you... not, actually. <laughs> I haven't seen this before? Okay. No, I have not. I love the wood frame on this. This is fantastic. Okay. Well, this first one is kind of a twofer. Are you sharing? Yeah, do you guys not see it? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. I stopped at the toilet plunger. What in the world? Is there a button on the chassis? I saw a stat one time that said that more people are killed annually by donkeys than plane crashes. Very secure. I don't even know what to say about this. <laughs> There's a key in the lock. Hey, whose uh, bar is it? It's not your bar. <laughs> <laughs> we learned more about some special applications. So our cam closer works quite a bit differently than a rack and pinion closer. There are actually two pistons inside the closer. There are two springs and then there's a cam. We rely on fire doors to stop the spread of fire from one side to the other. So how do you tell if an opening is fire rated? We can come to the exit device. On the side here, there are labels. This one is the UL fire label. And we even had a nacho showdown, a nacho competition. <laughs> I feel like there's a nacho pun in there where it's nach nacho business. Well, to <laughs> nacho regular competition. Old, yeah. What do, call, what do you call cheese that is not yours? <laughs> Nacho. Nacho. Yeah, we should save the best for last. So, Andrew, go ahead. <laughs> I'll burn. And because I liked it, I'll go next. We started some new shows. We have our director of cyber and information security on with us. 
Now, what a lot of people don't know is that Richard and I have a Teams chat that we send each other different cyber memes and LinkedIn posts that we find are funny dealing with cybersecurity. So we thought we'd pull this episode together and share a little bit of like what we're laughing at so you can laugh with us and learn a little bit as we go. I mean, that's part of why we do this channel is to better our education and knowledge in security and as a whole. My name again, like you said, Richard Wilford. I am the Information Security Officer for the America's Division at Asaboy. My responsibility is to protect us from all of those things that you just said, or all of those cyber threat actors out there trying to get onto our network and stop what we're trying to do. And that's securing people and making sure that our door hardware is the best in the industry. So that's kind of what I'm here to do. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything about this is what keeps me employed. (laughs) I love this cookie monster in the background. (laughs) Okay. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much for being a fan of the show. Thank you for showing up and being a part of the community. Happy holidays, and we look forward to another wonderful year of the Door Hardware Nerds. From our nerdy family to yours, happy holidays, and thanks for spending the year with us. Wishing you all a happy nerd year.